Fox 8 News, a frightening sight in Kenner as a tornado touched down this afternoon. Good evening, I'm Ashlyn Brothers. The National Weather Service confirms an EF zero tornado touched ground today, catching many people off guard as a round of storms passed through Kenner. That tornado damaging the Kenner Police Department and an old theater in Rivertown. For Lene Boy, it was the fear of the unknown that frightened her most. You can see it getting worse and worse and worse, and you don't know how bad it's going to get. Boy was upstairs when the sky started getting darker and the wind picked up. It got really scary when the windows kind of started rattling a little bit. She saw some circulation in the clouds out toward the river. And that's when I started seeing things swirling around and I could literally hear stuff hitting the house. I don't know what it was, but I hope it doesn't happen again. <laughs> the storm took her back in time. It was reminiscent actually of Ida because I did stay here for Ida and that hole in the fence back there. The difference was where a big oak tree had fallen after it was over with. And then I felt the rush of the feelings. That's when I, I broke down. Boy's grandson was next door getting ready for tech rehearsal. Yeah, so we're doing singing in the rain, so it couldn't be more appropriate of a of a story for, for what's going on right now. Mark Fushi with the Rivertown Theater says it came out of nowhere. The sky opened up and I pulled up and I saw this here. And so it ripped off the, the whole front part of the roof here and it was just all hanging off the side and all fell down here. Rain came pouring into the space where they keep costumes and props. He called the city of Kenner, which owns the two Rivertown Theater buildings. Within like 10, 20 minutes, they had trucks out here. They had the fire truck pulled up and they were up there putting the tarp up. The main stage is fine and the show will go on with opening night this coming Friday. Rain or shine or tornado. <laughs> we're not doing the Wizard of Oz though, so <laughs> we don't need a tornado for this one. Fushi says they're also putting on a junior version of the show and kids in that cast were supposed to rehearse in the damaged building. Luckily, the timing was just right that nobody was here and got hurt.